Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over three distortion effects in Final Cut Pro. And one of them is free and the other two are available on my website. But let's go ahead and get right on into it. Okay, so we have our clip here. It's a drone clip. And we're gonna add a bit of distortion to this one. This one is uh, free, it's available in the effects tab right here in Final Cut Pro. And you're gonna go to distortion right here. And you're gonna go to the Funhouse effect. You're gonna drag that on the clip. Now you are going to move this circle. You're gonna click on this circle right here. You're gonna move it over here. And I'm going to twist the angle a bit. So it comes up like this. And I'm going to decrease the amount to zero. And I'm going to have my playhead in the beginning right here. And I'm going to add keyframes to the funhouse effect. So one, two. And we're going to go all the way towards the end of the timeline. Or let's just go in the middle and boost the amount up to about six. And then end it at the end of the clip. I'm going to put it back down to zero. All right, now when we play it back, it will look like this. Like the building is distorting and stretching a little bit. It's a pretty cool distortion effect right there. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, for our next effect, we are gonna go to the B3 Studios plugins and the link is in the description. Um, and we're gonna go to the ring lens distortion. Drop it on the clip. I'll put this at zero. Right when the clip changes, we're going to add a keyframe to everything. play around with it you're just gonna move forward in the timeline and adjust the keyframe animations uh, according to your footage I'm gonna fast forward this because this takes some time and I want this tutorial to be quick so um, I'm going to fast forward it. When you're finished with the animation, you can just keyframe it back to zero. And now we have this right here for our distortion effect. And to make it look even cleaner, you can add a motion blur with an adjustment layer. If you don't have an adjustment layer, you can download that on YouTube somewhere or you can Google it, adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro. Whenever I made the transition, Directional blur in the effects tab. And we're going to 
in a keyframe that adjustment layer. So in the directional tab, in the effects tab, you're gonna click this keyframe and you can stretch it out right here to increase the amount of blurriness. So we're just gonna go the timeline, move it around. That looks a lot better. Okay, for our last effect, we will be completely distorting this, this clip. And what you wanna make sure with this distortion tool is that you wanna make sure that there's a lot of colors in your footage that you're gonna use because you're not even going to be able to see all of this stuff in a minute, but when I um, apply the B3 Studio Slip Tunnel Plugin, which is in the description below, um, you see a little bit of this starting to happen. So on a type of distortion where like it's kind of close to an animation, you can use this plugin. Um, this is a really good. You can add keyframes, turn up the glow. So really a lot that you can do. Change the rotation of it. Turn up the glow. Change the perspective. It's just a lot that you can do. So if I put it back right here, now you got a different kind of distortion animation off from that one drone clip. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials today you can find the links in the description below and if this video helped you out in any way please consider liking and subscribing because we will be dropping a lot of content coming soon and i appreciate you guys watching